So these are the Predator 19.3 by Adidas. <coughs> I bought them last week. I've worn them twice. As you can see, they're, they're quite dirty. That's uh, two indoor games and a bit of a warm up on Thursday. So negative points there for keeping your color and being easy to maintain. To be fair, I should probably give them a, a damp cloth or something. But I just wanted to show you how, <clears throat> how much they show the dust. Inside here you can see the Adidas symbol starting to wear after only two, two times wearing it. Other than that, the soles look intact. I seem to have picked up a few stones here. Rubber from the, the pitch. But everything else looks good. No damage. Let's have a look on the other one. Also no damage. It says here non-marking. Obviously means the pitch, not the shoe. <laughs> here you can see more of these rubber pellets that uh, they use on the synthetic pitches. You know, it just fell out. But yeah, so all in all, very very nice shoe. Let's have this look at the specifics. Okay, so the branding here, Predator, quite nice. Not over the top, bright red on the dark blue. The, the most dominant styling issue is obviously the silver stripes on the on the blue. It's quite nice. The red stitching, also nice. These socks are actually very comfortable, so I, I, I would recommend that you try these at least. Very, very comfy. It's a very snug fit. So I, I find my, my foot doesn't move at all. And uh, it's, it's, it's quite a pleasant uh, feeling when you play that your, your, your boot doesn't slide around. Obviously the right size is important, but this, this whole elasticated area from, from the front here, all around the heel, just helps to keep the boot in the right place and it's, it's very, very pleasant. Something I do want to speak about specifically is these uh, waves, this profile on the strike zone. So you see it on the outside of the toe, uh, the top of the toe, and then obviously on the instep. I'm just moving that out of focus for you. Let's just turn that over. There we go. So here you can see it again. These lines. And I suspected it might be of assistance, but I didn't realize what a change it would make. And I specifically refer to how much spin you're able to impart on the ball. So traditionally we play um, in indoor football on a either a concrete pitch with a, a rubberized carpet or similar, but or indoor sometimes we also play on wooden floors, but then obviously you wouldn't use studded shoes, you'd use smooth soles. But back to this shoe, with the courts that we play on, I usually played with a low bounce ball and that low bounce ball is so bloomin heavy that you find it quite difficult to get any sort of rotation on the ball to curve or uh, to, to get a, a directional bounce like a top spin or even just like a slice if you if you want to curl the ball around something you know it's very difficult but with these shoes I found that quite easy admittedly only two matches in but uh, doesn't seem to show any wear on, 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 on this, this pattern that helps you get that motion. And power was good. Control was excellent. Didn't find that I miscontrolled any of the, the balls in the two matches. I actually scored two goals on, uh, on, in the first game last week, which was a Thursday night. Last night uh, played some killer passes, but I didn't actually get any shots on target. But I think that's less the boot and more my technique. I was uh, preoccupied with yeah, the more, the more physical side of the game last night. It was uh, quite a rough encounter. Nevertheless, let's talk about the shoes, not our match. All overall, very impressed, very comfortable. I did, however, get a blister on my left foot, which is the shoe, um, in the first game don't see anything that it could have rubbed on because there is good padding in there 
Just move that out the way, see if you can see the padding. Hmm. So there's the padding on the heel. I suspect it's actually from the strap of my uh, shin guard that I got a, a blister on the heel because it was only on the left foot and it just seemed to be uncomfortable the whole game last week. So yesterday I played a game and um, I wore the same shin guards, different socks because it's a different team and we wear different colors. But I, I didn't have any discomfort at all despite the blister being where the shin guard was probably rubbing from the previous game. So the padding in the shoe is, is quite good. Uh, so much so that it didn't have any effect on my match yesterday. So what else can I mention? Oh, they look great as a as a pair. Um, this the strike zone is probably my favourite feature because of the ability to spin the ball and uh, just, just get a little bit of extra purchase when you when you're trying to curl it into a, a corner or away from a defender or around a, a defender, etc. Other than that, very comfortable, reasonably priced. I think I paid 750 Rand, which is what, 30 pounds, give or take, 35 pounds if you're British, probably 40 if you're do 40 dollars if you're an American, although our shoes are quite expensive in this country. Um, but yeah, I'm quite happy. They will probably last me a good couple seasons. At least until the end of next year, I hope. Uh, I don't see any separation on the, the sole where the shoe joins, which is a big plus. I've seen seen that recently on other people's shoes, which is quite worrying. I won't mention the brand, but I uh, had seen it. So, yeah, I'm quite happy. I'm going to give them a bit of a wash and see how they come out. But if you'd like to see the unboxing video that was done last week on the field, uh, just go to the channel and it'll be the previous video because I'm not going to upload anything else in the meantime. And hit the subscribe button, people. Not use the notification bell. Help us grow. Thank you very much. Until next time.